the UFC lightweight division title. All right, here he is, the number one lightweight contender making his way to the octagon and looking to lead as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. lightweight champion of the world. Now his goals, far more lofty than that. The title defenses are starting to pile up, but he believes with this type of challenger that has some momentum with fight fans, if he can dust this guy here tonight, he can take his career to the next level and start to be mentioned with the GOATs, the Hall of Fame types. For now, he'll have to settle for UFC lightweight champion. We will see how it goes for him tonight, Vegas. the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Two years apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, we send it inside the octagon to the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC lightweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 23 wins, four losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Justin, the highlight, Gage. And now it is the champion. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai fighter, holding a professional record of 12 wins, one loss. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Rafael Alamey. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. The fighters touch gloves. So here we go with round one, classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw time. Oh yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only step back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking row. Oh, the master of the transition. Nice scramble. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by his coach. Both fighters exchange the pocket here. Staying busy here on the pitch. So just 
just over 20 total strikes now for Justin Gage. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? He didn't like that left hand. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that oh. finish down now. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Gage, she's back in half guard. He's very comfortable here. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. He got his foot on the hip, and now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's going to try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. And how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Okay, round two, you ready? You ready? Let's go fight, guys. What a punch. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on Beat Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's gonna do to stay in this fight. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Lands another punch to the head. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Bing. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Strong defense there to block the shot. Both fighters throwing heat now. He engages in the single collar tie. Just misses with the jab. Though. That is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh! So he's really... Oh, he got him real good, too. Nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Right hand punch to clinch. He changes the angle, finds the hole. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, heavy leg kick there. You saw the knee buckle. Beautiful leg kick throw. strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight.
let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. First buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliano has come to stop to this contest at three minutes of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout and new USC lightweight champion of the world, Justin the Highlight Gaethje. All right, so there he is, the newly minted UFC lightweight champion of the world. It's the word. It's, it's all every pro fighter wants to hear, and, and he gets to hear those special words tonight. Every fighter hopes they get that one moment to hear and new. And then they want to hear and still, but before 